Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Tulip for the PS2. This is Robobin. We are going to look in Thief's Hole because we've already arrested Goro a couple episodes back. Long life towns, thief, tip top, uh, tiptoe the forest life. Age 32, hobby bonsai. The saying of the day is, date, XXXX. They arrested the bar owner's husband. I have never been arrested before. Where was he taken to? I think Mr. Policeman knows. I wish I could ask him. All right. Oh, it's still super early. We should have done that a bit later. Oh well. We're gonna go talk to policeman next. Who wakes up at seven, so I'll see you guys in two hours. Good morning. You are the kid with the one crime stamps. What do you want? Uh, let's see. How are you? I felt good when I arrested a guy the other day. I wish I could do it one more time. Goro? He had three crime stamps and now he's in the graveyard. The cemetery is at the Worldly Desired Temple. Say hello to his family for me. Well, we'll go do that if Julie's awake. time she wakes up. Later, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we'll wait for her to wake up now. Wow, Julie sleeps till noon. Alright, let's talk to her. What are you doing, Julie? Alright. What? Sent to the graveyard? No way. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't hurt me. <laughs> I spoke to Mr. Policeman. My husband sleeps beneath a tombstone. He won't even come ever come back here. Say anything else? Maybe I can commit a crime just to be with him. <sighs> All right. Let's check Thief's Hole again. The day is date XXXX. They arrested the bar owner's husband. I have never been arrested before. Where was he taken to? I think Mr. Policeman knows. I wish I could ask him. All right, so he just says the same thing. We're going to Worldly Desire Temple. Please tell me you're going. Yay, go in the right spot. Great. Hey. All 
right, my lovelies. We're going back to my favorite lovely midnight girl to drink some more tea. Make sure I save first. So, I'll see you guys back at two right here in order to drink some tea with our favorite little zombie girl, Mika. See you guys soon. All right. Hmm, I love her so much. Thank you for coming again. I'm so happy. I practiced making tea since you came last. I know it's better than last time, but do you want to taste it? Yes, please. You'll taste it for me? I'm happy. Give me a second, I'll show it how it's done. I might have lost my touch, but it should still taste good. How is it? It was delicious. That's good. I think it's almost coming back to me. Thank you very much. Hey, can you listen to me again? Of course. My hobby is making tea. You guessed? It's really obvious, I guess. It took away a long time ago. He loved tea. He got me into tea, actually. How simple is that? Sorry, I talk too much again. Come back whenever you want. I can't remember the last ingredient for the life of me. That's okay, Mika. You'll figure it out. Oh, this place is so amazing. I absolutely love it. It's about time. See you later. All right. So that was the second one. I can't believe we've got almost all the kisses done. Alright, we'll save just in case. Alright, let's heal ourselves. I don't think that we'd be able to survive another tea drinking. Yeah, I don't think we'd be able to survive another one. So, we'll go home and heal. And, uh, go talk to Pep Pep. And then be back again for her next kiss. So, see you guys back at the tree. No, back at Dad's. Uh, so you can tell Lover's Tree about us, and then we'll be back at, at, uh, Zombie Mika's. This should be actually excellent timing 
for a thief tiptoe the forest, actually. Let's see. There goes Julie. She's going to... She's going to... Uh, Goro's. Now that we've told her where he is staying. XXXL. I tried to sneak in, but unfortunately I was too short to reach the safe. I need a change of plans. The target is Julie's secret savings. 8 a.m. Get moving. 8.20. Sneak in. I love how they smelled, spelled sneak. 8.25. 9.40. Get out. 10 a.m. Return. So, we're almost at 8 a.m., so we're going to watch him. He said 940 is when he leaves, right? And 10 is when he's supposed to come back. Oh, there he goes. We weren't gonna get that. I tried to kiss three times. What did he steal from Julie's that was so big? any and a spare key so let's use that spare key to be dastardly since Julie is not here we're gonna use that hey oh I guess we just gotta open the safe use the spare key use it Received Julie's hairpin. We actually stole Julie's hairpin. Next, we're going to the policeman. And we're going to show him what we just stole. Hi. This is Julie's special hairpin. Why are you carrying it around? I stole it. Stealing is a crime? I'm checking your criminal record. Your crime stamp total is now two. When you get three crime stamps, you'll be sent to the graveyard. Be careful. All right. We're well on our way to being little miscreants. Next one is to walk around naked. 
I'm just wondering if you should save first or not. Let's see. I know there needs to be a news article about her before she'll give us what we need. I believe the bathhouse opens what? Is it three or six? You think I would I would have been here many times? Six. Okay. So we'll be back at 6 p.m. Sit tight, guys. All right. We're in business. We will totally pay. So we've got an hour between when it opens and all right, let me out all right but we have to do it we have to sneak out like this and run in front of the police officer in our nakiness <laughs> You are naked? It is a crime to walk around naked? I'm checking your criminal record? Your crime stamp total is now three? You have three stamps. You are under arrest? Have a nice rest beneath your tombstone? Here's a farewell kiss? We got policeman's kiss. Excellent. <laughs> He's so happy about arresting us. Oh, poor Tulip's all naked. I kind of like that I got the naked one. I got the naked, uh, naked arrested Tulip first. That's pretty awesome. Tulip. <laughs> oh, look who our friend saved us. All right, let's go up. All right, so. Look at it, it says square x square x, but the x and square have a, a wiggly waggly under it. So we're gonna have to hold those ones that when that happens. Square x square x. Alright. So we're gonna go square. Oopsies. Push it. So we're going to square. Oh. Hmm. I think we need more to this puzzle. Oopsies. Hopefully it'll let me go in a second. Are you going to let me go? So we lost. Uh, we did not do the whole the whole thing. Ah, there we go. Triangle, triangle, circle, circle. Let's try that one. So triangle. We gotta wait for him. 
if he's going to do it. Triangle. Circle. Circle. I don't remember this. Again, though, I'm. Oh, maybe we gotta talk to girl. Should have done that in the first place. All right, so yeah, that's the second half. All right, let's. <laughs> so my Julie. So my uh, controller's vibrating when he does that. So we only hit certain buttons when he's when he's doing that. All right. So we start with triangle, but now we get him there. All right, circle, circle, square. No! Ah. I wonder if I can do it normal. Nope. It's gonna. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. So, triangle. Come on, buddy. There we go. Triangle. Circle. Circle. Square. X we gotta wait for him. Square we gotta wait for him. And then X. That should be it. Yay, we finally did it. we go. Oh my gosh! I totally realized it was a PlayStation controller. Did you guys see that? It's in the shape of a PlayStation controller. That is awesome. <laughs> nice. Some very neverhood stuff right there. Mm, dear, I don't care if you are a ghost. Come home. A ghost! <laughs> Julie. Mm. You? Is it really you? Sorry. It's all my fault. It's okay. It's okay. I don't care if you're lazy, a drunk, a loser, or you have smelly feet. As long as you're with me, I'm happy. Aww. Robo. You're the one who helped my husband. I'm very impressed. This is for you. <laughs> I guess Goro doesn't mind. Kiss. 
It's Pizzle. not much, Pizzle. but take it. Oh, what are you giving us? Pizzle. Perhaps Pizzle. I can trust Pizzle. you with my daughter. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I will not approve of it yet. Now, excuse us. Come to see us anytime. What did you give us? Oh, a return ticket. <laughs> so that we're not stuck in here. That's funny. All right. Let's go save, maybe get some uh, healing, and see Zombie Mika again, and then end the episode there. Oh, Fanny Bone Factory, we do not need you at all. This should be enough for Zombie Mika. How many kisses do we have? 46 kisses. We're so close. One more episode. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'll see you guys soon uh, at 2 a.m. at Zombie Mika's little hideout. And we're in business. She's lost an arm. Welcome. Ah, you came to have my tea the other day. Yes, I did. I thought so. I remember it clearly now. I've become forgetful lately. I wasn't sure of myself. Do you want some tea? Yes, please. One second. I found out my mistake, so I started from the scratch. I'm very confident this time. It should be eye-popping good. Gosh, that's close. Uh, see, I told you the eyes popped. Mine, though. How did you like it? It was delicious. Good. But I think there is still something missing. It'll be perfect once I find out. I'm almost there. See, I really think. Oops, I almost did it again. I keep telling you about myself. It's my bad habit, I have to fix it. So, can you tell me about yourself now? Sure. Mm -hmm. I see, so you're trying to win Binny? That's wonderful. Try hard while you can, and come and have my tea together. All right, we need to grab our eye eyeball. Received eyeball. I'll make it right next time. You totally will. We have we have faith in you. It's about time. See you later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you here for now, but all in all, a pretty good episode. So we kissed Thief Tiptoe the fourth. Oh, that's still a tongue twister. Uh, we got Goro out of prison in his PS2-shaped cell. We got an eyeball from Mika, and we got ourselves arrested for public nudity, which is fantastic. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. This is Robo and signing out, and we'll see you more for more Chulip next time.